close. Tough little task, but I mean, an unlikely victory. Well, only if you walked into it thinking it's unlikely. Obviously, these kids had a different thing in mind. And uh, to their credit, um, they showed up and played with tremendous enthusiasm, uh, with, with, with passion and conviction. And good things happen when you do that. Right off the bat, you made me have a kind of feeling how it might go for you. Kevin Boyle has a post hit, basically the first shot off. After that, Kevin Boyle, arguably one of his best games of the season. He was sharp. Uh, he was sharp and he made some big saves and he had some good defense in front of him. And, you know, I mean, that's, that's a terrific hockey team. He's coming in there building to get those two points. It's, I can't tell you how important it was. An impressive third period in that you almost looked a little bit like the little Overhawks in your building. You pressed in the last couple of minutes. I know you had a timeout earlier on. No weak board at all. Where I saw Kevin, uh, where I saw Tim White working on it. What'd you tell the guys? Well, we have a, when, they, when there's a six on five situation, we have a scheme that we exercise. So just making sure that we understood the scheme and that people were positionally set. One of the things, too, I saw main pressing a five on four. Looked like a five on three when Connor Sherry uh, lost a stick. You ended up with a stick yourself. Are you ready to hop the boards? No, I heard the extra stick in case he came. And actually, there were two sticks down there. Uh, Sherry made some big plays uh, without a stick. He had two blocks that were crucial. One of the guys that I spotted early on that seemed like he had his legs moving his second game back from an injury, Rocco Carzo. He didn't get one of the stars in the building. He was my second star of the game. Well, he played really strong. He's got a huge engine. Uh, I don't think they're, you know, he, me and Gene flies for them, or Rocco flies for us. And he did some nice things. And really happy to see him score a big goal. And coming up next, the UNH Wildcats from two back at the World Center next weekend. I'm going to have your hands full. Yeah, and it'll be an unbelievable series. I uh, hope people come out and really help us through it. The two games back to back uh, are going to be real struggles, and hopefully we can endure the struggle. All right, dude, congratulations on the road with your safe trip. Thanks, bro.